What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the old dishwasher again, okay? So this one messed up on me one more time. That's why I got some dirty dishes back behind me. So we're going to try to fix it today. Well, what's wrong with it is that it's not filling. And a lot of you have been having that problem and you try to think it's, you think it might be the flood switch and I kind of lean more towards it's not, but in this video, we're going to try to fix it. Do it ourselves okay so if you like this video give it a thumbs up give me a comment down below of what i should be doing what i shouldn't be doing i don't care what it is i don't care what it is just give me a comment down below because it helps the algorithm all right thank you all right guys so take the shirt out okay so uh, so this dishwasher is not filling, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the water inlet valve, okay? So what that is, is the line that hooks up from your underneath your sink over to your dishwasher, where that plugs in, that's called the water inlet valve. And that basically just has a valve that's inside and it allows water to go through. Pretty much self-explanatory, but um, we're gonna replace that and see if that works. Um, so just to let you know, so before that's why this is kind of, hanging out of here all loose uh so i did tile my floor i did you can see the color it's it, it's the gray color so if you watched my last video where i picked between the two i did the gray color here and i'm gonna do the other color in my kid's bathroom okay uh anyway um so i've got this dishwasher part of the way out some because i didn't tile underneath the dishwasher yet it's a pain okay and then the next thing is that um, I needed to pull it out anyway to try to replace this and fix it. Uh, if I can't fix it, I'm going to replace the stupid thing because it's, it's it's actually been really great over the years. A lot of people complain about GE dishwashers, but honestly, this thing has been great. I bought it around like 2013, 2014, uh, probably about around 2014. And so it's seven years old and I've had to replace one thing on it and that's the flood switch. It's been great ever since. I did replace the heating element. We'll go into that on my, all my other videos, but the reason I replaced that because I thought it was that was wrong with it whenever it wasn't heating or drying, but actually turned out to be the flood switch. Long story short, TLDR too long didn't read. That's the, that's why. So, um, anyway, so got some problems out of this thing again. If I can't fix it, I'm gonna replace it. So let me know down in the comments below what I should replace it with. What brand should I use? Should I do GE again? Should I do one of their newer dishwashers? If you've got one and you've got problems out of it, let me know. Uh, a lot of you guys in, in the comments of all my videos have, have are having some of the newer dishwashers that don't have the flood switches, but seems like you still got problems with it, like not heating or drying. Um, so let me know down below if I should get another GE. Should I get a Samsung to match my fridge? Or should I get a Bosch? Or should, is there another brand I should get? I also live here in the United States over in the, the Eastern part of the country. Um, so let me know, what do you think I should get? Post it. Also, I like this shirt. All right, so the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do on this guy, um, what I did to try to fix it, and this might work for you, clean the flood switch out, um, I have a video, uh, I'll put it in one of these cards up above, but basically it tells you how to take that flood switch out. I cleaned it with hot soapy water. Um, a lot of people have had some success with that uh, and it could be the cause of your issue. So it's free, right? It takes about five minutes to take it out, clean it, let it soak. Uh, people use vinegar, uh, use some soapy water. I'd used hot soapy water. I got a bunch of gunk out of it. Um, <laughs> I should be using the dishwasher cleaner. Um, that I recommend. Uh, although I don't get to it every single month, I do try to get it at least once every other month or, or once every three months, but sometimes it's hard to remember. But I will post a link to that stuff and everything you all need, tools, whatever you need down in the description below. So if that helps you, great. Um, anyway, so if you wanna replace your water inlet valve, first thing you need to do is cut the power off to your dishwasher through your panel, which we go over in my other videos. Um, then you're gonna wanna start taking this guy out if you don't know how to take this dishwasher out um you might want to consult a professional or if you feel like you can do, have it covered take your power out unscrew the two screws up top start pulling it out just be careful of your flooring um, i do have my last video um uh, which is titled 
can't remember the title, but I'll put a link to the card. Anyway, it goes over how to pull it out. So watch that video, give it a like too. And, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, by the way, uh, if you like my content. If you don't, then it's okay, I understand. Go pro star. All right, so once you got it pulled out part of the way and all the way out, then um, we'll get into what you actually have to do to replace the water inlet valve. The first thing you want to do, I said, turn power off. The next thing, turn your water off at, underneath your sink. So that way you know that there's no hot water going back or cold, however you got it set up. Don't use cold water, use hot water. Back to your dishwasher. We know that that part's turned off and we know that the power's turned off. Then we're ready to take care of business. <laughs> also, the next thing you want to do is empty out your dishes so that way they don't go flying everywhere. Okay, you'll understand in a minute. So, tools you're going to need. Um, your fingers, quarter inch nut driver, and I'm using a 16 millimeter. Okay. So the nut driver, the fingers are to remove the electrical connection. <laughs> the, uh, the quarter inch nut driver is to remove, oh, well, here it is. So we just open this bad boy up for you here. Somebody commented one time and was like, don't use the word bad boy. And I was like, oh, I'm being such a bad boy, bad boy. So anyway, uh, so this is basically how this guy sits on there, right? So you got two screws, okay, at the bottom that connected to the frame. On this side, you've got the, um, you got the connection that goes back to your, what is that? Oh, that's the vent. And then this is the connection that goes to your circulation pump. And then this is the electrical connection. So you're gonna, you're gonna clip it like this. Oops, pull it out. Then you're gonna have to unscrew this. So you're gonna need, um, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right, so you're probably gonna need some of these guys, okay? Some channel locks maybe uh some pliers okay you're gonna need that 16 millimeter you're gonna need your fingers or something that can remove an electrical connection and a quarter inch nut driver and i'll show you why here in just a second also get some paper towels for the water that's gonna leak actually just use a regular towel get a regular towel and set it underneath your dishwasher so that way you don't waste better for the environment right all right, so once you got the uh, towel placed, just put your knees on. Um, yeah, uh, all right, so let's get started here. So you'll want to uh, use some pliers here. Oops, I could get to them. Loosen that guy up, squeeze it, set it down over there. You're gonna wanna, I'm sorry, I was just kidding about the towel. That's just for cleaning up the, the water as it, uh, Oh gosh! What? Come on now. Could give me a hard time. Ah! All right. Um. Yep. So there's your first thing. Next thing is you want to loosen this electrical connection. All right. And make sure you do have the water turned off and your power's off. Uh, don't lose this electrical connection and don't lose the clip here. Um. Next thing we're going to do is loosen the, uh, I'm going to say, let's loosen the line that actually plugs in because we'll have to take this brass piece off. I don't know if you can, I wish I'd got my light, but basically there's just a black, a, a blast piece, a brass elbow here, and you'll have to take that off to put on the new one. So I'm going to remove it on this line right here, and then we'll take the brass piece off after. That way it's easier to get to. So for people out there wondering, this connection right here, or at least on my dishwasher, is around about a 16 millimeter. Um, so I wouldn't say the size matters too much. Yeah, um, yeah, just, yeah, let's just think about that for a minute. And of course you can see all the water coming out. Of course, we wanted to catch this on video, right? That way you have uh, realistic expectations of what you might actually find whenever you do, you're doing this and it's not in an actual repair shop where the dishwasher's never been used before and you're gonna run into i really hope that's off ah! it's not off ah! 
so that wasn't off and I was 100% confident that it was so um, yeah just make sure you've got that turned off because it is hot water and it will burn you and it will not care if it burns you okay oh yeah so now we need some more towels and a lot of airflow um crap all right so then you take these guys off and we'll get to it in just a minute okay so after doing a little bit of research um i did have the water off i, I guess there was still pressure built up in the line um because it was off at my dishwasher and there's only one hot water line it's just split so i turned it off at the other disconnect and yeah it cut off so i'm not sure what the heck happened but that blows okay yep follow me for more advice and tech tips and dishwasher kitchen counter get your floor soaked too so this is what you come out with uh this is the old one and it's got the elbow that i still need to remove but i figured it would be a lot easier to remove it out of the dishwasher than it would be to do it with it in so we'll go ahead and remove that elbow put that on the new um water inlet valve and put it all back together and give it a shot and see if it works man that sucks also when you do this run some water down in that hole right right there in that hole uh make sure it shoots at that hole right there and that way you know there's no blockage in there like i don't know like a little buggy something got in there and blocked a little hole and you've done all this for nothing yeah just make sure okay yeah just just do it, it takes like five seconds just give that a shot also when you put this back on make sure it has the same orientation your elbows pointed the same way as that line and then your electrical connection is also in the same place all right but let's I'll put it all back together make sure it's tight then we'll turn it on make sure it don't have any leaks and then we'll install it back I know you can't see it really well but I turned the power on I turned the dishwasher on and I started filling the dishwasher and I can actually hear it filling now so pretty sure that was a problem but we'll check it here in just a second and make sure Guess what guys, guess what, you hear that, it's fixed, it's fixed, now we can have clean dishes, it's fixed, it's fixed, it's spraying water, it was what it was, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, give me a comment down below, and as always, Thank you for watching.